exactly the quality assurance means. Why do we need the quality assurance resources or the people in the industry and what do they do? What kind of expertise required from them? All these things we are going to discuss as part of this training and we are going to learn about all these things as part of this training. So let's see what are the things we are going to talk about and how it is structured by the overall curriculum. The goal. The goal of this training is that the conclusion of this lesson, you will gain a basic understanding of quality and testing concepts and be able to plan, develop, execute and document the test cases and the test plan. So the goal of overall objective, the overall goal of the training is to make sure you as a trainee gain an experience how to write the test plan and how to write the test cases what exactly these things are we are going to elaborate in detail in further session. Objective. What is the objective of this session? Objective can be divided into multiple pieces and how that goes. So explain what testing is and what it's not. So you will understand both sides of the story that when we say testing, what exactly it means and what is not treated as part of the testing. It is important because when you are working for the company where you are part of the information technology which is commonly known as IT, you need to understand how the software development cycle works, how the IT, the information technology team works internally and what are the different stages involved in that. So the QA and the testing is a very crucial part of the software development life cycle. That's why it's very important what is testing and what is not testing. It has to be defined very clearly. What is testing mindset? How, when you are starting writing the test cases, how do you make, what is testing mindset? How do you elaborate on that? Define basic testing terms. What are the testing terms which are involved? How commonly used terms are? What kind of a terminologies which are getting used? Apply the basic concepts of test planning. When we are doing any kind of a work, as you know, no matter whether it is a software development or any kind of a work, the planning plays a very big role. Same goes for the testing also. Because when you are trying to do some and perform some kind of a testing, it's very important for you to plan that work so that you know after step one, what is step two. So for any piece of work, the planning plays a very big role and try to avoid future escaped issues. Escaped issues means which are unidentified issue which was which anyone was unable to identify. That's what un, uh, escaped issues are. Develop a test script. How to write the small scripts which can be used to perform that to run the test cases. Describe the way to execute a test script. How you can execute the test script. What application you are going to use. Understand the importance of documenting the test results. Why it is important that whatever we are doing as a QA, whatever we are doing as a quality assurance analyst or the, as a tester, we need to document that what is the final outcome of the test result. So we perform some task, that is my test case, and then I get some result back, that is my test result. So to document the test result, it's very important because that's the proof that what we did and what did we achieve after that. So documentation plays a very big role. What is, what the class is not? What is class? The class is not going to teach specific testing methodology, okay? The reason being is because every company have a different way of performing that. So there are no specific methodologies which you are going to follow as part of it because you can read the books and number of books are available in the market. But the purpose of this training is to make sure you get a job. So this is a full job oriented program. The class will not mandate specific procedures or templates. So again, the templates are specific to the companies or specific to the person. So maybe what you like, I don't like. So the kind of a document, the kind of a template, template is what? Template is that formal way of writing and presenting any information as a QA. 
so there is no boundary no limitation that what format you should use what kind of a layout you should use you could come up with your different layout i could come up with my own layout okay but both are trying to denote the exactly same information that's what it is so it's very important that we understand there is a no rule book for a qa that the qa must have xyz format to write the test cases or abc format to write the test plan there is no rule book for you whatever way you want to present the information you can do that now this is the schedule of the class so in day one we are going to talk about basic testing concepts common testing terms and the test levels okay by doing that what we are trying to say that the test levels what are the different test levels we have and how we can achieve that so these are the things we are going to talk through and if you have any questions please feel free to stop me so that i can elaborate those things now day 2 and day 3 the uh, when we move forward we will see how that is going to go further let's move on and let's see so basic testing concept what exactly it is how it works what is the software testing process a means by which people methods and tools are used to verify that a software product meets the intended need so what testing process is all about testing process is all about when let's say i expect something okay i expect that okay when i go to the dmv office that dmv office should give me the printed license that's my expectation now what is the final testing outcome the testing will be conducted to make sure that okay if the person visit to the driving license office dmv office whether the dmv is going to give the driving license printed driving license or not that is what the testing means if the dmv is able to produce the driving license the printed electronic driving license that means the test is a positive and it's a pass it's a successful test result but if for some system issues they are unable to do that that is the failed test result so this is what the testing process is all about that means you are trying to validate the method and the tools which are used to verify the software whether the software meets the intended need or not who need the people who are going to use that application so let's assume if i am working in mcdonald and whatever application mcdonald is using okay that particular application is working the way i am expecting that means the testing process is successfully working the software which mcdonald is using tested successfully whereas if i find some hiccups some issues with the system that means the mcdonald application is not fully functional there are some hiccups there are some issues and that's why it's not working this is what the testing process is all about that means to make sure the software which we are trying to use the software which end user is trying to use is fully tested and functional and who assures that the quality assurance team the quality assurance analyst is going to assure that the software which is being developed is working 100% and satisfy the intended need of the end user essentials of the testing process what do you mean by essentials of the testing process quality of the test process determines the success of the test effort so the better the quality is that means the harder the parameters we have put around the testing see the harder we try the better results we will get so let's assume if we are trying to build something the first time when we make something it's not that good then we try next time when we try next time then there will be little betterment we will see in the product in the final outcome third time it will be much better fourth time it will be more and more better so what happens it's a direct relation that the quality of the test process determines 
the success of the test effort. So the better, the more the effort is, the better the quality is. That's how it is. Prevent defect migration by doing early life cycle testing. If you are waiting till the last minute of the process, okay, you are going to get lot of issues in the late stage. Whereas if you start by doing the testing on the early stage when it is in the initial state of the work, that means you have the opportunity to eliminate, to eliminate the unnecessary defects and the issues which you may get into during the late stage of the process. So, to defect is nothing but an issue. Let's assume, think about it. I'm going to give one example to explain it in a better way. So, let's assume, let me just grab a pen. So, let's assume. This is a form. This is one form where the customer needs to fill out what order they want. And in this you have the name, and then you have the order, for example. This is the form where you have a name and the order. Now when you have this, this is the requirement. This is what I want as an end user. And you as a QA is going to test this. When you are doing this, what you are going to see? If this is fully developed, then you are going to do the testing. Then what happens? There are issues which you may encounter during the late stage. But if you start testing by when this is only developed, then what will happen? Just one field is developed and if you started working on this parallelly, then you will be able to eliminate lot of issues which you may get into in the later stage. That's what it is. So prevent defect migration by doing early life cycle testing. For example, the name. You cannot have a name with alphanumeric. Name is always alpha, which is alphabet. So let's assume the issue is that user is able to enter 1, 2, 3, 4 as a name. That is a defect. That is an issue because nobody will have a name as 1, 2, 3, 4. That's what this whole defect means. So what you are doing is by doing the early life cycle testing, you are eliminating the defect. Now, Testing is a professional discipline requiring trained, skilled people. So the lot of emphasis on trained and skilled people. The reason why, the reason why